Hey, y'all. Come on in. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And don't forget to hit the like button. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. I was just coming to y'all real quick to vent about something. I want to tell y'all about this situation and I want y'all to get in the comments after you listen to what I'm saying and let me know what your thought process is about it. What you, have you ever experienced it? What would you do? Okay. Well, here it is. I have a, hold on. I have a, uh, I have a friend, a good friend. She's like a sister to me, been knowing many, many, many years. She has a daughter about the same age as my daughter's. And, uh, and I know for about probably a couple of months now, I say about three months, I've been knowing about them not speaking. They haven't spoken in since I think Christmas of December twenty third of twenty twenty three. Around that time, might not have been Christmas Day, could have been the day before Christmas, somewhere up in that twenty twenty three. Now y'all know here it is, July of twenty twenty four. They have not spoken. And uh, my friend came over one day. She pops up every blue moon. She's not consistent, calling, texting, answering calls, answering texts, none of that. She won't respond a lot of days. And then she'll pop up and we'll kick the bobos. She'll spend the night, you know what I'm saying? And she might text a couple of times. And then, back th then right after that, she right back to her don't know if she did a live situation. And I, I'm accustomed to that. I don't like it, but I, I understand. You know, it's just what it is. And I pray one day nothing really be wrong with her or whatever. Now she got two daughters. Uh, and they both grown at this point. But the one she got into it with was trying to reach out to us. She was telling me about it because when her mom was telling me about it, I was like, the way she explained it, it made me think about, man, what's wrong with her? Is she on drugs? Is she popping pills? Is she trying to get money? Is she mad because of this or that because of that? You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing I would think just by the way she explained it. So but finally, when her daughter talked to me and told me about it, it was the same thing that the mama said, basically, but... Uh, I don't think it was that, you know, drugs or whatever. I just think it was just being disappointed in what she was expecting from her mom to do. And then I told her, and then I said, well, you know you was wrong. You had no business to disrespect. She agreed, whatever. And I said, and then you have to understand, uh, when you have expectations to receive something from somebody, whether it's your mother, your husband, boyfriend, whoever, you have to be clear about what it is you need if you really need something. Other than that, anything they give you is a gift. But if you have a need and they don't know the need, you have to express the need. No one is going to read your mind. You have to let them know ahead of time. Unless it's an emergency, you couldn't help it. You, you just found out this situation happened and now you're reaching out for help. But if you know that you're expecting or you need something or you desire something, you have to give people the heads up to let them know that you need help or you want something. If they can accommodate you, fine. If they can't, you have to understand that and keep moving on. You can't get mad. But So I guess whatever argument took place, it just went overboard and she disrespected her mother really bad, made her mother feel really bad. And, uh, and I couldn't believe that they didn't speak in all this time because this was in December of 2023. And I think we kicked the Bobos probably, what, March maybe? Yeah, I think it might have been March, late March or something. Like that. So I'm like, that. that's pretty nothing. Here it is, July, and I've been talking to her daughter, like, for the past two months, like, on a weekly basis. We text and stuff, and she let me know what's going on and ask me for advice on her relationship with her guy and stuff like that. You know how it go. And uh, so now I talked her into it, and I really didn't have to talk her into it. She pretty much, she knew, her, her, my daughter knew that she overstepped and did too much, but uh, it come from a place of something, deep-rooted issues. That's the thing that the mom don't understand. Me as a mother, when I would get into it, my daughter, whatever, before she passed away, and we only probably got into it maybe three times, and there's usually de dealing over her boy or something like that, some man type of situation. It never was because something she said I did to her or something stemming from childhood. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that it's some things that happened that she suppressed or whatever. That's another conversation. So she finally reached out to her. And it took her a while to respond back, but she responded with a text. And it was like, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to. You hurt me this time. Y'all always care more about y'all friends, blah, blah, blah. That type of shit like that. So her daughter was hurt by that because she reached out. 
and uh and i told them hey you did what you could do you know what i'm saying but i'm think i'm waiting for them both to just to eventually just work this out so it ain't working itself out so yesterday she said that uh she her mom her mom did not respond to her again after she tried to reach out to her so yesterday i just said call your daughter she didn't say nothing back to me or nothing i said call your daughter and then i think they text each other and she said the same thing i can't get over what you said what you did you was wrong you hurt me blah 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 whatever that was so i decided today this morning because like i said i said call your daughter because i was saying that to her because her daughter's in town her daughter don't live in town no more she was in town and I figured if she called her daughter. And the only reason why I said call your daughter is because, from my understanding, the daughter already been reaching out to try to make amends and talk to her and told her she was sorry. And she responded with a text, didn't want to call. So, yeah, I'm going to tell her, call your daughter. So I to actually text her. I said, girl, call your daughter. Stop all that nonsense. You or her not promise to be here later to fix whatever is wrong. She is willing to talk and own up to her part, but we as parents are not perfect. She understands respect is not an option, and you deserve respect. I don't have but one daughter now. There's nothing that serious that you can't at least talk or listen. We forgiven men over and over. Our kids deserve the same grace. Happy birthday. Love you. I sent that this morning. Okay. She responded back. I was shocked. It took her probably 30 minutes or so. She said, I'm tired of people telling me to call her when y'all don't know what the F she did in big letters. She should be calling me. It's a lot of stuff she did to me that you have no idea. I'm done until she knows how to respect me as a mother. You right. I'm not perfect, but I'm still her mother. And I said, it don't matter. Life too short. Fuck all that other shit. At the end of the day, I'm not disregarding how she feel and what she just said or what her daughter may say. But I'm getting to the big picture. Fuck all those little details. The fact is, y'all not going to fucking be here. You're not promised to be here tomorrow, next year, five, ten years. One of y'all going to go before the other. Somebody going to die. And this how y'all want to end? Or you want to end because she reaching out. And I said, she been reaching out to you. I said, just don't let your pride and your trauma override your better judgment. I love y'all both. She ain't say nothing back. So then I text the daughter. I said, call your mother right now. Call her. Because she's uh, making it seem like you're not even reaching out to her or nothing. And I know you've been reaching out. You call her. She don't answer. So you text. And I told her to text. And I told her what to about text her and let her know. And I told her what she was wrong at. You ain't wrong for feeling how you felt or being disappointed. But you wrong for the way you responded and reacted. You can't do that. Even if you was 100% right about your mom. You cannot disrespect her, yell at her, or none of that shit. And you can say how you feel in a respectful way. She agreed. Now, I don't know if she really called the mom, as I haven't heard from neither one of them. But I am so sick and tired of women and daughters and daddies and sons or whatever. I could speak on the daughters because I'm a woman and I, I'm, I can relate to it more. I see it more of not being able to get along, treating each other like bitches in the street. It's just freaking ridiculous. But yet that man can do any and everything, then did every and anything, and gave you diseases, then lied to you, then broke your heart, made you cry. We talking about not no one year, six year, two year thing. We talking about over the course of like 20 something years. And you can't give your daughter no grace. That's some healing that got nothing to do with your daughter. And yes, she probably did some things that make it worse than you already feeling. But if you was a happy individual, a healthy mind, a healthy hearted individual, what you going through with your daughter would be easier for you to deal with. But since you already chose madness, sadness, and depression over happiness and moving on and living your life and take accountability for yourself, it's making what you feel and what your daughter did do, which was bogus, whatever she did, if she did that shit. So it's making it worse. It's hard to make good decisions and do right and be able to talk or want to have the energy to talk with our kids or with our significant other when we already miserable about some other shit. So y'all get in the comments let me know what y'all think about it. I'm sick of this shit.